Hello everyone, I'm Sam and welcome to Fire Emblem Heroes Sleeper Skills, a series where I take a look at skills that can be hard to find a home for. Today we'll be looking at one of my favorite skills in the game, Wind Sweep. Wind Sweep is a B slot skill, with a base cost of 240 skill points. At time of recording, Wind Sweep can only be inherited from two units, Alm and Joshua. The description for it says, if the unit initiates attack, no follow-up occurs. Against a foe wielding a sword, lance, axe, bow, or dagger, if the unit's speed minus the foe's speed is greater than or equal to one, the foe cannot counterattack. It sounds confusing, but don't worry. Wind Sweep just does two things. One, units with Wind Sweep will never double on the player phase. Two, while attacking, units with Wind Sweep will never be counterattacked by any enemies that are slower than they are. Units built to use Wind Sweep effectively can attack into powerful enemy phase units safely. That's really valuable in a metagame where Steady Breath and Quick Repost builds are becoming pretty common. Wind Sweep has a lot of synergy with Life and Death, Swift Sparrow, Death Blow, and other powerful player phase skills, just like Fire Sweep weapons do. However, unlike Fire Sweep builds, Wind Sweep units can retaliate on the enemy phase, making them much more flexible. The downsides to Wind Sweep can't be ignored though. Wind Sweep units can never double, limiting their ability to one round KO enemy units. Because it occupies a B slot, Wind Sweep can't be used in combination with Cancel Affinity, and it competes with powerful skills like Quick Repost, Vantage, Desperation, or Breakers. Plus, Wind Sweep is really expensive. You're either sacrificing a limited time reward unit or a 5 star exclusive to make any Wind Sweep build. So, who can run Wind Sweep effectively? First, a Wind Sweep candidate should have a high enough base speed that they can sweep. I'd recommend units with high 20s or low 30s base speed at a minimum. The faster, the better. Their attack should be as high as possible, or they should wield a brave weapon. Wind Sweep candidates need to have an open B slot, and if you plan to use Phantom Speed, you want to make sure that your sweeper has enough bulk to survive any potential doubles on the enemy phase. With all this in mind, here are a few wind sweep builds that I really like. Of course, these aren't the only good wind sweep builds, just a few to get you started. Up first we have Olwen. This set maximizes Olwen's attack with a plus attack nature, and relies on cavalry buffs and phantom speed to secure sweeps. With a base neutral speed of 34, Phantom Speed Olwen can sweep anyone with 38 speed or less while wielding her Brave Tome. With Cavalry buffs, that goes up to 44. She can comfortably neutralize plenty of red units without doubling, but this build lets her attack into powerful green threats like Hector, Dorcas, Julia, Deidre, or Brave Ike. For her A slot, she wants either Swift Sparrow or Death Blow to secure more sweeps and kills, but I wouldn't fault you for running Life and Death either. Her B slot is Wind Sweep, and her C slot is Flexible, but most likely you'll want to use a Cavalry buff. For her seal, we go with Phantom Speed to offset the speed penalty from her personal tome. Her special is Flexible, but I'd recommend something like Iceberg or Draconic Aura depending on Olwen's nature. Next we have another blue mage, Delthea. This is the most common Wind Sweep build I encounter in my area of tier 20 arena, and with good reason. It's really strong. This set makes great use of Delthea's phenomenal offensive stats, 36 attack, 34 speed at neutral, and covers up her paper thin defenses by using Wind Sweep. A Wind Sweep build works with most Delthea natures, except for minus speed, but I'd recommend a plus attack or plus speed Delthea if you have the choice. For her A slot skill, we keep Death Blow to increase her damage. Her B slot skill is Wind Sweep, and her C slot skill is Flexible. Like Olwyn, I'd recommend a damage increasing special. Unlike Olwen though, Delthea can sweep pretty well without the Phantom Speed Seal, even though she'll have difficulty sweeping ultra-fast units. Next we have Brave Ike. Brave Ike is renowned for having an amazing enemy phase thanks to Irvin and Steady Breath, but his player phase can be pretty mediocre. A Wind Sweep build ensures that Ike is only taking damage on his own terms, with Steady Breath up. While slow for a sweeper, Brave Ike is fast enough with Phantom Speed to sweep some of his most important targets. Worth noting, this build works best on a Brave Ike with a plus speed nature. For his weapon and A slot, we keep Irvin and Steady Breath, because, well, duh, they're kind of broken together. For his B slot, we choose Wind Sweep, and his C slot is flexible. Although on Sweeper Ike, I recommend a Threaten skill. His special is also flexible, but the choice really comes down to Bonfire, Ignis, or Aether. From here we have Hector, and I know what you're thinking, why on earth would you try to sweep anything with Hector? Like Brave Ike, Hector is a monster on the enemy phase without his B slot, thanks to his personal weapon, 
but his player phase is mediocre. Sweep fixes that, and ensures that Hector only takes damage when it suits him. With a plus speed nature, Hector can reach a borderline 28 base speed, letting him sweep anyone with 37 speed or less while he has phantom speed slotted. With a hone speed buff, that range increases to 41, letting him sweep most melee threats. We keep his default distant counter in the A slot, and then give him a damaging special like Bonfire or Ignis. His C slot is flexible, but I'm partial to Panic Ploy. This isn't an optimal Hector build by any means, but it's a lot of fun, and a great way to salvage a plus speed Hector if that's the only one that you have. Finally, we have the queen of power creep herself, Aira. Her remarkable base speed and personal weapon lets her naturally double most melee units, and keeps her safe from green and red mages. Her unique special, Regnal Astra, deals crazy damage for a two-charge skill, and it's almost always available. So why would we want to sweep with Aira? Two reasons. First, we want to run distant counter for score and to bait green mages on the enemy phase. So we need a way to stay safe when we're attacking on player phases after that. Second, all the new and powerful red units are bringing Swordbreaker back into the metagame in a big way. So with Windsweep, we can sidestep that problem altogether. For her nature, we want to avoid minus speed, but other than that, we don't really care. We keep her default weapon and special. Her A slot is distant counter, her B slot is windsweep, and her C slot is flexible. Her seal is also flexible, but I'd lean towards close defense, distant defense, or quick and pulse to make her enemy phase more reliable. So that's it. A quick look at windsweep. I like this skill a lot, and I hope we get more skills like it in the future. Hopefully I've done a good job with this video, but that's for you to decide. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. I hope to see you next time. Take care.